What's up, Gray Area fam? It's Aid here. We are so excited to be introducing a new series. We are here at Terry Blocks here in Austin for a new series we're calling House Beats and Fresh Eats. We have a special guest today that we're gonna deliver some barbecue to, but let's get the barbecue first. We are here with a special guest today, Incredible House DJ and foodie, Will Clark. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is going to be the first of our series, House Beats and Fresh Eats. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're here in Austin, so I brought you some Terry Black's barbecue. It's one of our favorites here. One of the most talked about. So we got a sliced brisket sandwich, some mac and cheese, some beans, some cornbread. All the things for you to load up tonight for a seismic dance event. You can go ahead and dig in. And yeah, this looks amazing. Thanks for getting it. Yeah, of course. Mac and cheese is pretty good. Yeah. I've wanted to eat Terry Black's for a while. Yeah, I was nervous. I was like, he's been here a couple times. And that's like the go-to place, mm. I feel like. Like even when we went this morning, it was already busy. I want to go to Snow's in Lexington. I saw your tweet mm. about that. Yeah. Did you get a ride yet? Loads of people offered. <laughs> but then I was at dinner last night and my friend was like, you don't want to, you don't want someone driving you from the after party. Like they're going to be hammered. <laughs> um, that was so a good I was point. like, that's a good point. That was a good point. I also saw it's like an hour away. I've never heard of that barbecue place. Best, suppose like rated best barbecue in the world. Hmm. Yeah. Have to make a trip out there. Yeah, it's like not far. Mm -hmm. It's only an hour. Mm -hmm. But you got Miss Tootsie, who's like the pit master. Yeah. She's like an 85 year old woman. Oh, wow. It's like they open one day a week. Yeah, the, I saw you tweet about that and I was like, that's so interesting. I've been to Salt Lake. Have you heard of that one? Yeah. That one's like a little yeah. bit out there. Is that in Austin? It's like on the outdoors a little bit. Mm. I think one location's in like Dripping Springs, which oh, is okay. like out that way. And they have another location more north. I'm gonna... Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. You have to let me know if I get food in my beard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> happens a lot, right? Yeah. How many times have you been to Austin before? A bunch. Yeah. Um, five or six, I think, maybe more. I like Austin. Mm -hmm. Thinking of moving here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a great place to live. What do you like about the city? It's like, just chill. Super chill, but it's also, I love the fact that there's like nature. Mm -hmm. Obviously anyone in the camera can't see, but it's like <laughs> the river. Um, it's just relaxed, good food, good people. I'm not too keen on the weather though, it's a bit hot for me. Oh really? It's like Where are you located box. at now? Detroit. Oh, very different. Yeah, <laughs> Climates. Very different. yeah, very different in everything. There's like, yeah, it's cool. It's just more relaxed here, I think. It's like a bit more chilled than, yeah. than normal. Has there been a favorite food or place you've tried that you like so far? Not really. When I come here, I've never like, had the chance to like go and eat much because it's always just like in and out. Mm -hmm. I went to this tiki bar, tiki bar last night called Tiki Tiki T Taksuya. Mm -hmm. Brand new. Yeah, brand new. And it was like cool. I don't drink, so it's kind of wasted on me, but the food was pretty good. But the setting was like this crazy Hawaiian place. They've like yeah. built it. It's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's cool. That's the thing with Austin is there. I feel like there's random places popping up. Mm. I think it's also a TikTok trendy kind of yeah. thing. Like they want to have something that's like Instagram worthy, mm. TikTok worthy. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. I feel like it's definitely the trend with that. What would you feel like is your favorite city you've been to for food? New York. Mm. New York or Tokyo. Japan generally is just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but New York's just like, it's the best, mm -hmm. come on. Like every every street corner, there's something amazing. Same same with Tokyo or just anywhere in Japan, it's like the food's just done very well. Mm -hmm. I find like in places like New York and Japan, cities that have like super high populations in like a very small place, like the food has to be so good because yeah. people just won't go to that restaurant if it's shit. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I love I love this, but I love New York. New, New York's my favorite city. Yeah. I'm going back to New York for the first time since I was 16 oh, for really? LRO oh, in okay. New York, in, yeah. which I'm excited about. But yeah, there's food every corner. There's all those different pockets of food. I really want to go to Tokyo too, Tokyo's that's amazing. on my list. Tokyo's like 
I'm making a mess here. <laughs> Tokyo is like the best. It's fucking great. Yeah, that's on my list to go. I would love to go one day. The people over there are just so nice, and the, just the like how it is the culture in mm-hmm. Japan is just something that we don't really have in the Western world. Is we everyone's so respectful with each other, yeah. and everyone's like just super nice. It's, and the food is unreal. But like, you'll get somebody that's like a noodle master that literally just makes noodles mm. or like you'll get somebody that's like like to become like a sushi master you have to do the like learn how to make the rice for like 10 years wow and then that's incredible yeah it's wild <laughs> and then just the dedication to one thing is just we don't have in the western world yeah that's so fascinating yeah it's pretty good you yeah. know i like the meat definitely got it all in my teeth though yeah <laughs> Is there like a worst meal you've ever had? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Probably something my dad cooked. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that really annoys me is when you go to a restaurant and you're paying for food and you know what, like I could cook it better at home. Mm-hmm. That's like mm-hmm. really fucking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> and it, this, the one thing like why I don't go to a lot of places because I would have been there before and I'm like, you say you're like this Asian, amazing Asian restaurant yeah. and your food is actually par, like mm-hmm. just fucking terrible. Not terrible, but like you're charging me a premium to get something that I can do better and yeah. cheaper. Yeah. So I'm like, if unless the atmosphere is like really good, like I'm like, why, why am I going there? Yeah, that um, makes a lot of sense. I like to eat in places that I know that like the chefs have like really spent time mm-hmm. and kind of Giving it, giving it their like, oh, yeah. made it really fucking good. But that makes a lot of there's sense. There's a lot of restaurants that aren't like that. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I feel like it's the biggest bummer, especially when there's a yeah. lot of hype around it. Mm-hmm. And then you go yeah. and you're like, what is the hype mm-hmm. about this? When you go to a new city, do you have like a research kind of process to find food, or do you just like ask for recommendations? I've got, I'm friends with like a really popular chef. Okay. And I just text him and be like, where's good to go? Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's always handy. I do a bit of research. I, I, I like finding what that city's good at mm. food wise. Um, but you come to like a place like Austin and now more people will move to here. It's like you get more cultures here. You get more mm-hmm. kind of cuisines and like a place like this, you can generally get good everything yeah. if you try, if you like find the right place. Yeah. Um, I, I search, I judge cities by ramen. Oh, if they're ramen, if the ramen's good, I can, I'm, I can. Have you had ramen tatsuya here yet? Oh, I went past it because it's next door to Tiki. Oh yeah. So I've heard it's good. That's. But I'm scared favorite. to go because it's like the hype's high. I know, so but I'm like. like I promise you, the hype is pretty real there. Yeah. I get the spicy miso spicy. Mm. Uh, Because I like it spicy and then I add crispy Brussels sprouts to it. Interesting. I know. Trust me on it though. It's pretty. If you like Brussels sprouts, I I like some crispy Brussels sprouts. Mm, They have some crisp to them and then Mm. you throw it into the ramen. Mm, It's really good. I could be down for that. Yeah. And if you aren't good, are you good with spice? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I get the miso spicy because you could also get it miso not is what it is and just get a spicy ramen and add as much spice as you want. For you but, weak people out there. Yeah, for the weak people, but yeah. it definitely catches up to you, but like that's my recovery ra- like ramen mm-hmm. after a festival or something. Yeah. Like I just want to go get ramen. <laughs> yeah, I love ramen. I love ramen. It's like a comfort food. food. Mm-hmm. I had really good pho the other day in Detroit. So good. I still have not tried pho. We really? Have, we have a lot of places here. I still have not tried that place. Just gotta go to like, a really good yeah i need a fine place, fine place. A good place. generally like a strip mall where it's like look yeah it's gonna taste amazing it's, we we have a mexican restaurant here that we love going to called la posada and outside doesn't look great yeah. inside one of the best and it's like very family oriented yeah. and it's amazing there. this is an unpopular p- opinion i'm not a fan of mexican food no i know what? i i i'll eat it i will order it yeah. I, I go to like I've been to Mexico a bunch. I'm just like, eh, it doesn't it's not do my anything. It's, yeah, I'm just like this is just food. No. Like, Dang. I, I get it, but it's like growing up in the UK, we weren't, we didn't grow up with Mexican. That makes sense. Like the Mexican food is shit in the UK. I, I could imagine. Like it's shit. <laughs> there's, there's not many Mexican people in in the UK. 
So we were brought up with like Indian food and Indians, mm. Indians like Americans, Mexican food. Okay, that um, makes sense. So like, so you don't like enchiladas, burrito, tacos? Like, I'll eat them. I don't, eat them. I don't dislike them. Yeah. But I'm like, this isn't like, a lot of people rave about Mexican food and they're like, Mexican's my favorite food and let's go for Mexican, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm just like, meh. I mean, to be honest, I'll go to a lot of places and I'm Hispanic mm, yeah. and I'll be like, my mom could have Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'll be like, my mom's is mm. actually kind of better. You and, know? Then you're pay- it's, and you're paying a and shit I'm ton paying, of money. Like yeah. Mexican food is, this sounds awful, but it's supposed to be cheap. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's a poorer country. It's like very cheap cuts of meat, yeah. cooked for long times. Like it can be, like barbacoa is amazing. Mm-hmm. And the process of barbacoa is amazing, but you're just like, to get it done really well in a restaurant, I'm just like, whoa. Yeah. I'd rather go to like a, a like a side place on the street that's like actually Mexican and like, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So I, I, now I get it. At first I was like, wow, shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I totally get it. Couple more here. Do you have a go-to meal that you like make? For people or cooked for others or cooked for yourself? Curry. Oh, wow. Indian, yeah. Nice. Mm. I also saw on your Instagram you're kind of like a grill master too. With like. I like grilling. Yeah. Um, fun, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But it's like, there's something about just cooking on fire is just better than anything. Yeah. Um, you just get really good flavors and it just fit. I don't know. We're always so stuck inside and we're always like, as civilization we all just like spend our time on our phones like in front of computers inside not in the in nature and i think just cooking on fire is just like brings back those i don't know what it is yeah. it's like i don't know caveman vibes yeah and it's almost like you know community when you do like like well here we have yeah, fourth yeah. of july yeah, yeah. so it's like a big backyard kind mm. of hang or like um tailgating yeah tailgating you see people out i'm there. going tailgating tomorrow and i've never been oh before. really i've never IUT? been before yeah oh my god i've That's never awesome. been so i'm kind of worried it'll be a good time i actually haven't tailgated here i went to arizona state okay. university yeah. so a big party school tailgating was big but not really that big i feel like compared to like ut or yeah, like yeah. even the midwest like i've been to tailgates at university of nebraska because i have family there yeah so I would be interested to see what UT is actually like, but I heard it's a good time. It's gonna be ridiculous. Are you gonna document it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see that. The GoPro is coming out. It's very American. I mean, very. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very. It's gonna yeah. be interesting. Is there a city that you're going to that you haven't been before? Or are you hitting kind of all the same cities? I think I've been to like all the cities. Okay. Because we've done a tour like a few tours like this. Okay. Um, but the interesting thing, like I'm bringing friends along to DJ. Nice. So I've got like a, a vision who's like one of my favorite artists at the moment. The Besk, who oh, is like unreal. Yeah, he's great. He's, I've known him for a few years and I, on my record label, we've, I've actually just signed, I've not signed anyone okay. for the label. Um, and I've signed him for the first, for the first release of something. I think that's else. a great choice. He's amazing. I've been loving a lot of it. He had one released a couple weeks ago that was really yeah. good. And then Kamea, who's like minimal techno kind of girl. Okay. Wow, she's amazing. She's yeah. lived in Berlin for like the last oh, 12 years. She's from Berlin. Seattle, um, but her music's amazing. So I can't wait to get her. And Lee Kay, who's a girl from San Diego. Mm-hmm. Um, she's an amazing techno DJ. So I'm really excited to be able to like, usually when you go on tour, it's like, you turn up and then it's you and locals, which I love playing with locals, yeah. but I wanted to like give fans a little bit more of experience um, with the with like the record label presents, like all we have is now presents. I just wanted to like give a little bit more of a, build a bit more of a story mm-hmm. um, and somebody like, whether I'm playing first or the other artist is playing first, like we can like really create a nice story of the yeah. night and kind of, give people something that they don't necessarily always get because I find a lot in America, unless it's a festival or like a huge venue, like exchange in LA or something mm-hmm. like that, you don't usually get like two headliners in one night. Yeah. You usually get, just purely because it costs like these clubs to do it. Mm-hmm. So we've been able to like make it work so that we can have other people on, on the lineups. And so like, 
we're going to smaller cities like Seattle and Kremwerk. It's like a 250 cap venue, but it's yeah. going to be like a proper rave. And yeah. I'm, I kind of just wanted to bring a bit more like a bit more of that to, yeah. to, to the tour, That's which, awesome. which would be interesting. Yeah, I think it's always special when you can kind of curate and set the tone for the night, right? Because I, I agree, I feel like um, when I go to shows and it's all, you know, the artists that who they want to yeah, play, yeah, yeah. it definitely sets the tone for the night. Locals are great. I Locals agree are great. too. Yeah, yeah. And it's great to get to know some. Like we have some really awesome ones here in Austin yeah. that we see a few times around. But when an artist kind of curates the whole lineup for the night, you, it really just sets the tone mm. and the atmosphere, I feel mm. like. So that's going to be awesome. Yeah, it'd be good. Is good. there a favorite venue you have that you've mm, played? Or space. Space oh. in Miami is amazing. I went for the first time this yeah. year. Uh, it's so amazing. Yeah, space is special. Um, What's the longest set you've done there? I'm not, I've only done three hours. I'm, okay. thinking, I'm playing there in a couple of weeks okay. on the 26th of November. I think we're doing four, but okay. I've, I, I want to wait till I'm more successful, till more people know me for me to do like a 12 hour yeah. there. Um, I kind of feel like people don't know me as well as, if you know what I mean. So when, when more people know who I am, mm -hmm. I'll do a bigger one there. Yeah. Um, but it's also like, they're the best, they're the best crew. Mm. Like all the, all the Link Miami guys, they're fucking the best. Yeah. They treat you so well and it's just like proper family. Miami's not America. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just a different country. It really is. It's a different is. country. I went there for the first time and went to space yeah. for the first time. And I'm like, this is a whole different world mm -hmm. out here. It's yeah. a whole different beast. Yeah, it's very South American. Um, Central American is very just like, full of different cultures. It's, 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 yeah. it's a great place. I wouldn't want to live in Miami. Fuck that. But. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Even but, just driving around. Yeah, like the traffic or driving around stresses me out. But I love the fact that like the first language is Spanish there. Mm -hmm. Like, no, Lots you have to speak Spanish. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of amazing. But. Yeah. That venue is amazing. There's a lot of good venues in, in America now where they, there wasn't necessarily like six years ago. Well, so I know you're looking forward to your tour, but is there anything else you're looking forward to for the kind of the wrapping up this year and next yeah, year? Yeah, we've got, I've got a new release coming out on the label um, called Searching, which is a collab between myself and Shermanology. Oh, yes. Which like, Shermanology I've known for years. Mm -hmm. I've not known them personally, but I've known of them mm -hmm. for years. and. Before lockdown, I think 2019, we wrote a record together called Father. Mm -hmm. And then during lockdown, we wrote another record together called Searching, um, which is the Searching ones coming out. And like, it's, I don't often say this about my music, but it's my favorite record I've ever written. Wow. So it's really, I don't care if anybody else doesn't like it, yeah. <laughs> but I think it will. I think it's, it's like, very it's not doesn't sound i sound so fucking cliche by saying yeah. this and like a dickhead but it just doesn't really sound like anything else out there which is either a good thing or a bad thing i don't know um but yeah that's coming out december the third which i'm really excited about um so hopefully people like it yeah I'm, i'll be i'll probably be <laughs> it. i love all your stuff yeah. and i love shermanology stuff yeah, so great. i'm excited to see uh, whenever collabs happen, it's just excited to see like the different sounds and how they combine or presenting something new, right? So yeah, it's amazing. So Dorothy from Shermanology, this Andy and Dorothy, they're brothers and sisters. Um, th they both sing, but Dorothy's like very good. Her singing is very gospel which is which is kind of what I do a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, her her voice is just like amazing absolutely amazing yeah so i'm looking forward to that coming up yeah that'll be awesome well thank you so much no for, for the food. digging into some barbecue with us <laughs> hope you enjoyed it definitely go check out will clark you guys we did an artist spotlight with him before um and he has a couple of releases coming out soon and also a tour so if you're yeah. going to any of those stops definitely go check him out and thanks for joining us today thanks for the barbecue thanks yes. for the talk <laughs>